Homemade pizza night is a crowd pleaser, but those traditional toppings can get a little boring. Here's how to add fall flavors to homemade pizza. Cast iron skillet, one of my favorite pizza devices. Homemade pizza dough is great. When you're short on energy and time, just pick up some store-bought. For a fall touch, I like roasted acorn squash. Going for super thin slices here because they're gonna go on top of our pizza. Acorn squash is so hard to cut. It's so peppery. Ooh, this comes out fast and furious. Vin Diesel, hold on. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Getting everything coated, but I don't want to break these apart. So I'm just doing it really gently and get everything in a single layer. Boom, roasted. It's beautiful on the pizza and it's so good. You can even eat the skin. Butternut squash plays so well on pizza too. Some roasted potato, if you've never had that on your pizza, it's amazing. Choose cheeses with a nutty flavor like pecorino or gruyere. And yeah, you could do spinach, but why not try Brussels sprout leaves? Basil's traditional, but sage and rosemary are a great twist. Little olive oil in the bottom. You want the oil spread around and you wanna get that dough right up to the edges. Pan pizza like this will give you a crispy crust on the bottom and fluffy dough in the middle. Dimple it, cause that's what the pizza professionals do. You're the boss here, so sauce it and top it however you like. A skillet pizza, all those toppings can go right to the edge. That's some of the Gruyere cheese. There's really no rules and not much of a play in here, but acorn squash is definitely going on here. Beautiful shingles of this acorn squash. One of the rules of homemade pizza, many of the ingredients you'll want to pre-cook, like the sausage, the acorn squash, or the potatoes. This is a little bit of Italian sausage. Gonna top this with a little bit more mozzarella. And some Parmesan. Like when you're at the restaurants and they're like, how much Parmesan would you want? And they say, say when, and you go. The key to this skillet pizza, you want that oven screaming hot. 500 degrees, or if your oven goes up to 550, we're gonna go there. Woo, I can feel the fire. Trap that heat in. Check on the pizza after 10 minutes. It should take 15 to 20 minutes total. Really think what's fresh and in season and play around with the flavors. Ooh, I feel like a real artist when I do this. My dream of being on the chef's table. If they don't invite you to the chef's table, you make your own table, okay? That's what Tyler Perry said. If they don't invite you to their table, make your own. Some fresh mozz straight from the pizza place. Let me do potato on this one. Why? Because I can. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I love these purple potatoes. These are amazing. One final little drizzle, Stanley Tucci style. Look at this, this looks amazing. Now it just needs a little more cheese and why not some fresh sage? Oh, that looks amazing. Hot honey has been all the craze when it comes to pizza, so I wanted to switch it up and do hot maple. Some maple syrup. I'm steeping some maple syrup and chili pods on low heat on the stove. You can infuse the heat from chili flakes or even fresh chilies like jalapenos. Little chili infused maple. I'm just going crazy today. I had all these ideas and I just wanted to share them with all of you because I was like, this is gonna be the best fall pizza night ever. Just a drizzle of that. It'll be sweet, spicy, savory, salty. I literally can't wait to dig in. I have no clue what this will taste like nice and crispy on the bottom like a pan pizza should be. The trick with the pan pizza, I like to cut it with scissors. No pizza roller here, not necessary. It's still a little hot, so watch your fingers. Fresh out the oven. All right, everyone knows the rules. It's amazing! That hot maple is what makes this pizza. All right, sweet Italian sausage. I love the acorn squash, so good. Great texture. That hot maple syrup, put that on your pizza. That skillet, game changer. Pizza stone, I've used that before. This is just so self-contained. It radiates the heat a lot better, the cast iron does. Crispy crust on the bottom, delicious. And I love that the crispy cheese gets so dark and caramelized on the edges. So good. I think number two was done too. You can never have enough cheese. And I'm just gonna do a little parsley, why not? I feel like every pizza needs a little green on top. I'm gonna leave the hot honey off of this one so I can taste it first. Use a tiny plate, makes the slice look bigger. Ooh, it's hot, hot, hot. Mm. Fresh, so flavorful, so delicious. Those tomatoes, I got the colorful like heirloom fancy ones. Game changer, they're amazing. You don't even need sauce. Those tomatoes have so much flavor. All right, they look like pepperoni, but they're actually potatoes on top of this, and they're so good. I love pizza night because everybody can customize their own. 